For whom the sweetie bell toils. Jeez, what a storm. Where's all that lightning coming from? So Sweet Belle gets ready to do costumes for their play and they look awesome, but the acting is... Forsooth and anon, I cometh forthwith and post haste with glad tidings, ladies. Well, at least it's not Tommy Wiseau. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! I think. So everyone really loved the play, but mostly for the costumes? Oh, silly me. How, how did this get here? So Sweetie is ticked off because the attention was more on the dresses than her play? I knew it! You did this on purpose! Stealing the spotlight like you always do! It's my fifth birthday party all over again! Psst! The scene right here. This is gonna be important later. Just so you know. So Sweetie is having her tantrum to the point of Eva Rarity not wanting to tame this beast? Sweetie Belle, get me some red ribbon. No, that's not red, that's cherry. No, that's not red, that's cinnamon. For Pete's sake, it's all red! Okay, is it bad that these lines are kind of hilarious? So to get back at Rarity, she decides to sabotage Rarity's headpiece she made for Sapphire Shores and- Whoa, 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 whoa wait, time out, time out. Now I get being overshadowed and angry, but maybe going a little too far with sabotaging your sister's job and very expensive client? So then Sweet Belle wins an award for her play until Rarity Cloud rains down on her parade? I feel like I'm missing some context here. But then we see Luna appear and realize this is all a dream and even Luna can relate to what Sweet Belle is going through. She is best princess after all. So we get this Christmas Carol style flashback at Sweetie Belle's birthday party, but we're seeing it from two different perspectives where Sweetie Belle looks outshine, but Rarity is also trying to save the party from ending. Who needs a birthday girl when you've got the birthday girl's amazing big sister? <laughs> okay, seriously, whose bratty, ungrateful kids are these? And why haven't they been spanked yet? So Sweetie understands Rarity a bit more about being a perfectionist, but also sees a future where Rarity has a breakdown, quits her job, and stops making dresses. But luckily, it was all a dream. So the CMC raced to Candlelot to try and find the headdress to the point of Yakety Sack's chase scene. <laughs> And then Luna appears and is like, don't worry, I got this. And shows out the new headpiece with a dolphin stitched in. That's my lucky animal. They swim with me in my dreams. Dolphins, huh? I wonder if she's a fan of... Oh God, no, not that. So Sweetie Belle apologizes and we all learn that revenge is a dish best served with a side of dolphin. And dolphins are too cute to eat, so don't do that. to do click on these thingies and follow me on these thingies and enjoy the madness <laughs>